false plant, agroplants.org, uh, also known as Grevia asiatica. Uh, so this sherb or small treat, perennial evergreen, and can be delicious in a colder climate. You can grow it uh, for ornamental, but mostly it's grow for the fruits that uh, remind uh, with some imagination, and this is, uh, I think, with imagination to blueberries. Uh, I don't see the connection, but that's what people said. At least that's what they told me. Uh, so be aware. Uh, if you would like to purchase, there is a link below, and there is a link in the top right side. You can purchase it. And this is donation for our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's very, very, very helping to this channel to continue. And also check other video. So hardiness zone will be from 10 plus. Uh, can grow in a variety of climate like tropical, subtropical, or Mediterranean climate. Uh, the leaves are beauty. Uh, the flowers are small yellow, orange, or red orange. And the fruits are purple to black. Uh, you should think that uh, uh, the, f the flavor of the plant, uh, the fruits can be f sweet to sour or just sour. It uh, depends the cultivar. And except this, I would say that requirement, slightly acid soil. Uh, in the continuation, I will explain a little bit about the fruits and what you can have or not have. And uh, you can start to grow it by cutting seeds or plant. Uh, I highly recommend, and it's not must, but highly recommend to graft this tree. And I will tell why, because a lot of cultivars are just with big, big, big seeds inside. Uh, so you can start to grow it by uh, seeds. And after this, if you see that you don't really like the fruits, you just can uh, graft it. I think this is the best solution for this tree. And uh, be aware that it's very sensitive to weeds when it's young. And after this, it uh, might be invasive or even uh, invasive in the garden. I wouldn't say maybe also invasive outside your garden. Planting season in the tropical can be all the year. In a colder climate can be from the spring to the autumn and hardiness zone from 10A in the spring to the summer. Major pests are termites. Uh, caterpillars and ants but uh, it's not very crucial I, I never saw something effect on this tree there is a little bit aphid uh, this tree is very strong so I never saw something that really affect on this tree uh, pruning can be all the year uh, I would say that maybe you should create accessibility for the to pick up the fruits you should think because it's grow very crowded so sometimes it's interfere and the fruits are small and they attractive a lot of birds. Maybe you should consider this. The height of the plant can be from 3 to 7 meters. So it's been like 10 to 20, 21 feet. And in the right condition, it's a fast growing plant that requires small amount of water. Will grow the best in full sun. A blooming season, it's in the spring and the fruits you have from the end of the spring really end maybe mostly from the early summer to the end of the summer. As I said before, the major pests are the birds that are coming and they are coming with a lot. So sometimes maybe in order to prevent the birds to come to your tree, just put a net and don't forget every morning to check the tree because sometimes the, fr the birds are uh, stuck in the nets and you should release the birds and don't let them die, of course. Uh, this is the problem with these fruits, uh, the seeds itself. Uh, so you can eat it raw or to make juice. Uh, it's hard to make from these things because of the seeds and this is I think very crucial so maybe you should find with the smaller seeds and I even heard that uh, some people work on the option to have these fruits without seeds or without significant seeds that you can eat but this is just a rumors and if I will know something about it I will publish in the comment in the future uh, except this uh, after two to three years from seeds it can bear fruits as I said, super fast tree, they grow very quick, and uh, also it's really easy to start from seeds. I would say that uh, it's something to consider to grow, maybe to keep it small, and if you have children, it's great fruit for children after they know that their seed is not uh, edible. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. 
you have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.